Commuter rail started off very much in rural areas and particularly because people were worried about their lines going. So it was councils and the railways usually getting together to put together a programme to, to employ somebody to get out there and talk to the community about promoting the railway and developing the railway and making the railway as useful as possible to the community it serves. The, the original strategy was launched in 2004. It's been refreshed and renewed since then. It's all about the railways helping people to live a better life and to do things more easily in their lives. South West Wales Connected is a new community rail partnership covering the four regions of South West Wales from Neath Batalba, Swansea, Carmarthenshire and Pembrokeshire. We've really tried hard to listen to the communities and get their feedback as to what they want to see from their railway and how to improve their local areas. So one of the local projects that we have created is the Love This Place Welcome Project. So this is a range of different marketing materials created by the community, advertising to people who come on the train, why to get off at these stations, and what the hidden gems are in those areas. And these welcome banners will be in place over the next few months. We cover three counties, Somerset, Dorset and Wiltshire, and we're predominantly a rural community rail partnership. So we have historic towns, castles, antiques, arts, the heart of our community rail partnership is our volunteers. Everyone is a volunteer and they've been with us since we first formed in 2016. So we do two campaigns each year um, to celebrate our volunteer efforts. So we do South Stations in Bloom with a panel of judges that come around to look at all of the stations. It's a way of all of our volunteers, which we have probably 300 plus volunteers across the six stations, get to know each other and we have an award ceremony. And at Christmas we do Community Rail at Christmas and again it's an interstation competition. We feel that this is a really important part of what we're doing. Without the volunteers we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. They are the heart and soul of, of what we do and they give of their time generously each week, every day, every year. We're really, really lucky in that although we're quite new, We've got really strong links with community organisations right across Gloucestershire. So we've been able to pull in their support and work collaboratively with them to produce some really lovely projects. We've actually done some art galleries, so that's here and at Stonehouse and at Gloucester stations, and it's celebrating work done by local community groups and local artists. We've done a project recently that was really, really high awareness and a great deal of willingness to try and travel more sustainably. The young people, it was around 80% of them that said that they recognised the need to use public transport because it was more sustainable and they were wanting to kind of gear their lives like that. Well, Transworlds has, has, has really been, in my opinion, quite transformational in the last few years, particularly since we've had the funding to, to have a full-time community rail officer. We've been able to take the opportunity to uh, take a lease from Wiltshire Council on the land that we're standing on at the moment and started to uh, change it to add facilities that we knew were required at Melksham. We were asked to provide some facilities for the community, of which we've done. Being part of the community rail network enables us to create a, a sense of ownership for, for the whole community rail family and being part of their accreditation process is, is part of that. We do really feel like a part of a family. The garden had nine foot high brambles going, stretching out about 10 metres. The CRP have supported the Residents Association in getting us funding to do some of the work, putting us in contact with organisations that are willing to help. It's done really well because it's getting people who are just walking past to actually stop here now. Our numbers are just going up week on week. The number of people we just get coming in, sitting down. We've had the local infant schools come down and have a look. They're learning about the railway. The primary role of the CRP is to support the community. I was approached as a community rail officer to see if there was any possibility of helping out with funding to do some work in the garden, cut down all the brambles, create the spaces for planters, for a food farm, 
having the garden here has also invited the students to come in. The students are regular users of the station. Footfall here, I would say, between 80 and 90 percent are students. Food on the Move started um, in the first lockdown and when the Community Rail Partnership realised that um, there were going to be vulnerable and uh, families and isolated elderly who really needed our help to bring food. We had funding initially from South Western Railway which then kick-started getting um, match funding so I wrote bids then for additional funding from Awards for All, from the Isle of Wight Council and we were able to then increase that funding to provide over 200,000 meals for the community. So in all we've raised over £100,000. It's about our community and the vulnerable community and so whilst there is a need we'll provide the service. Mm -hmm.